I'm not even on camera. You're gonna jump on my face. No, 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 no. Welcome to the Super Spears Brothers. Um, I'm Blake. And I'm Dance. Um, and, uh, I do watch this shit, by the way. Um, another one of our thing. We've been called in by the Master Drive, which is the evil computer that is challenging us to uh, compete brother against brother. You know, he never See, waves back. No, he uh, doesn't have arms. Um, we don't know what we're challenged against. We don't know any of that going in. Nope. And um, whatever game we're challenged, one of us is going to have to defend that game. The other one will have to defend the other game. Uh, the winner of which will be decided by our guest judge or celebrity judge at the end. I shouldn't put air quotes around that. It's insulting. <laughs> so let's find out what they are. Uh, Master Drive. Welcome to Game Room. All right. All right. Brendan, your game is Super <laughs> Ghouls and Ghosts. Okay. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's a classic. It's um, it's very hard, but it's rewarding. You know, we didn't do very well the last time we no, played No, we it. sucked ass. We so, sucked a lot of ass. So we're going to see if we can suck slightly less ass on that one. Yeah. But let's see what I've got. Okay. I'm really curious. Blake, your game is Demon's Crest. Ah. Oh, yeah, okay, I haven't played that before, so I'm really interested to try but that Demon's one out. Demon's Crest is cool, it's yeah. cool. Yeah. Shit. Shit. It's gonna be a tricky challenge. Okay. Alright, so let's go into the gameplay and see which of these games reigns supreme. I should right. be eating a pepper when I say that. You know, it seems weird, usually you get the auto games. You, you know, uh, is Demon's Crest actually older? Yeah, it came out after this one. It was like the sequel. I don't know. Does the difficulty change anything? I've never noticed any difference. Um, yeah, it's impossible at the maximum mode. They just, they, they, they just put you in a pit and there's just like fire everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then it says now you have to beat this five times. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So we, there we go. All right. So uh, this is Arthur. Um, he's the... Oh, that's my favorite weapon. I, I refuse to pick up any other weapons after that one. Uh... The bow is sometimes good on certain bosses. You're right. I like the bow in this. I really like the armor system in this. It's a lot of fun. Um, it does do the unfortunate thing that when you're doing badly, it makes you do worse. Yeah, it's you. You, you don't get to recover once you start doing badly. I think that's right. what makes this game so hard. Oh god. Yeah, it's kind of. That like it doesn't have any systems to get back once it, you fuck up. It's like that shmup system where in shmups they have like the thing where like if you once you lose your power up, you kind of are screwed for the whole game. Yeah. And in this game, you want to get like your armor and your weapons and your spells, your preferred ones, and then just not touch a single other thing. Like don't Ever. don't open any more treasure chests. Just yeah. stay the fuck away. Um, I oh god! I oh damn, I did survive. I could have survived that. And that's gonna be worse than that now. There is some pretty nice level design on this. I'll, I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. um, and No, it's really... Oh god. Yeah, then that... the, that's the also thing about the jumping in this game. Is that once you start doing something wrong, you can see your mistake. It gives you time to sort of think yeah, about it. Yeah, it's just like, you fucked up. Keep what? Keep... keep no, no, nothing keep... you can do. You're just screwed. Uh, what? Why wasn't there the armor in there? Uh, because it's your second time through. Or did you get the previous no, chest? No, I didn't. Ah, uh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> What's that spell? Oh, oh yeah. orbs. Uh, okay, maybe it's not that great of a spell. It's pretty great. Protective seal around here. I really like the fire, the, the dragon spell. No, yeah, the dragon. What is, is that the lance? Uh, no, that's, that's, that, that's daggers. I thought Dagger was the... No, that's the... The bow has the... Find the treasures. Yeah. Which is pretty much worthless ah. if you know where ah. the treasures are. Like, the first... After the first time you go through a level, or if you read the Nintendo Power Guide to this game. Yeah, which, um... Pro tip is the only way you're going to beat this game. <laughs> that's right. For instance, it, that's the only way that warns you that once you beat the game, you have to beat the game again. <laughs> only the, harder with a worse weapon. Make this impossible. Yeah. So that... I really want to sell more magazines. That's right. I want to sell some more magazines. Can you take what you've been designing with your uh, with your developments and your ideas and your Japanese style things? Make Japanese it to the point. Style? The, the your shield does not protect you against the falling skulls. No, it doesn't protect you against anything. It just kills dudes. That's right. I'm an angry dog. So I I <laughs> learned something while watching other people play this game. One, not everyone knows where all the secrets are on the first level. Yeah. Two, some people really like the fire and think it's the best weapon. Why? I don't know. I no. think it, I mean it is strong, but it's like like I guess I like fast weapons because I like to be able to quickly maneuver my yeah. And also those people have never beaten the game, so there you go. The only weapon you can beat this with is um, is that weird is that weird shooty thing that doesn't that, that, that floats around. Oh look, yeah, clothes again. 
I gotta say, I really love in this game uh, and in the series the whole like armor losing mechanic is kind of fun. Yeah. I don't think I'd want it in very many games because it's kind of like nonsense as well. <laughs> like it's a pretty stupid idea. It's like ah ah, so nice. You were hit. Now you walk around in your skivvies. I think like honestly the. The big problem I have with it is... Oh god, I'm just dead, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, so you can't jump back. Go away, wizard. Yeah. Uh, but like, if you had like, you know, so you got, um... I remember over... I, m I remember way overusing that reverse jump thing to like, correct all kinds of mistakes. Yeah. And just like, you would never get anywhere, because you just be like, jump, reverse jump! Yeah. Reverse jump! Jump. Reverse that jump! Was a mistake. Uh, but, like, it's a system where, like, you know, you had your regular armor, then you got, like, the upgrade armor, and you got hit by that and reduced your armor again, along with that. Like, a little bit, like, an extra hit point would be nice. Like, yeah, just... not, like, like, so I was thinking, like, so, you know, for, right now I have two hit points, right? Yeah. And then if you got, if I got the green armor, I would, or, like, like, if I got the green armor, I would still have two hit points, but I'd be able to do magic. And if I got the gold armor... No, wait. Basically, you want the, basically... Uh, basically, I want a system other than the one that exists right now. <laughs> you want it to be easier and better. Ah, fudge! <laughs> Badly played. Man, you know, like, the way we're doing this now, where you play the game and then I play the game, yeah. um, is is the way to go, but there's so much of this where I just want to, like, take over the controller and be like, this is how you do it right! And I know then, how to do it right, I'm just not doing it right. And then, like, I die after, like, two steps, and I'm just like, that's... that's what I, uh... That, that's what you're supposed to do. This you're supposed to suck. It's a hard game. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun if you weren't dying all the time! <laughs> Oh, ah, 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 ah. Dagger, dagger, dagger. The bow is actually the, ah, ah, what? No, I am not okay with that. The Nintendo Power we had actually rated each of the weapons by power, speed, and something yeah. else. Yeah. And I was like, eh. They really wanted to sell games and magazines. Yeah. That's really what's missing from the Wii U's thing right now and the whole Wii thing. It's like there's, there's nothing. There's not enough magazines. No. It's, it's true, and people get excited for every Nintendo game. But it's like for all that third party things, there's nothing, there's no really support from Nintendo for those third party things anymore. No. It's like, like you gotta do your own advertising, bub. Cause yeah. Because the, the print medium is dead. And who killed it? Video games. That's right. We killed our own, we bit the hand that fed us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now, now, now this, I'm good. Yeah. Th th I'm gonna die like right away. Yeah. Or, and I guess a lot not of heat seeking because we're killing the undead and they probably have very little body heat. And plants. But it's like it's some it's some sort of it seeks bad things. It's pretty much like the weapon you want. It's like it's like I want a weapon that uh, that's for bad evil. That detects bad things. It's like well, we got this heat-seeking missile. It's like yeah, but won't that fire at my own? Yeah, it'll fire your own guys. No, I really want something that hunts uh, uh, bad. Oh things. yeah, now I'm gonna be able to okay. find all the treasures when I fight the boss. But our enemies are mostly misguided and are th therefore invulnerable to this attack. <laughs> And most of them are just like brainless monsters, so they don't actually have any sense of morality. I was kind of thinking about it in the real world, and I was just about to draw this into like, uh, you know, places like Iraq where the enemies aren't actually bad, they're just either misguided or like, uh, desperate. like you, desperate. Uh, and you've just said that they're basically horrific, like, flesh rending monsters. Oh, well, yeah. So they thanks from a the lot. Middle East, dude. <laughs> it was then that the world leaders came to the conclusion the fucking Spears brothers are awful. And they signed peace. You know what? Middle East, there's a middle position. Here's how we solve the situation in the Middle East. Play some Demon's Crest? We play some gall darn Demon's Crest. We're gonna play golf for the Ness? We're gonna play golf for the Ness. There's a lot more ghosts than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, Blake? PC games. I'm putting in the the, 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 the I'm putting in the uh, the Konami code in a Capcom. No, game? the Capcom code. Oh, it's like, which is ah! <laughs> I want to continue. All right, so I've never played Demon's Crest. Oh, I see. You have to put in the code. <laughs> this is proof that I've never played Demon's <laughs> Crest. I didn't know what the code system was. It's uh, proof that I only played this on emulators until now. <laughs> oh, I love the graph. Look at this. Yeah, That's no, sweet. This, ga this game is. Gorgeous. That's sweet. Like, you want to get the giant dragon that attacks you? I like how the game starts off, okay, so you're in a place and then a dragon attacks you. Yeah. Well, this game's very hard. <laughs> I've never played this before. It has like a slow Ninja Gaiden kind And I, of. I have this feeling that I'm just about to die instantaneously. By the way, you can cling to walls too. And if you jump in mid-air, you hover. So that's how you can float up there and shoot him. Oh, I have to fight him? Yeah. 
Oh, I was I was uh, convinced I had to like just get the fuck out of here. Oh, and you, I think you can. Yeah, you can die here. Oh well, now I'm just a pile of bones. Yep. So there's no lives, so you just kind of go back to the last checkpoint, I guess. Oh okay, yeah. Right. Uh, so we were basically we're basically that's a problem with this game. This game oozes like style and like class. Like... <laughs> Oh, I like how when you hit him, he's like, ow! Oh. Okay, alright, this is easy now. Oh, it's God. just tedious. Yeah. I like how they... It, it's a good idea to start your game with just a tedious battle that has, like, no impact. Aren't you supposed to be arguing for this game? I'm, I, look, it doesn't start well. It doesn't mean it doesn't end well. <laughs> Although it'll end badly for me. <laughs> oh, what would be really cool is if we ended up doing the... That uh... boss was really fucking easy. I know it's the first enemy in the game. <laughs> I kind of expect that. But I was just like... I'm doomed. And I'm never going to be this enemy. Fuck doors! <laughs> well. Oh, you know that headbutt thing you can do? You can smash tombstones and there's like treasures and stuff in them. Th that's just a looking backwards thing, right? No, yes, you're smashing. Uh, uh, so wait, do I just get chased by this dragon for the whole rest of the game? What? That'd be kind of a neat mechanic in the game. Wait a minute, so I do this more? Just more of this? Okay. Well, that was... I guess that's dramatic. Bomb. If they're doing some storytelling shit. Yeah. Oh, that's a head bomb. Oh, gra grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yeah, you got a bonus health. So now you actually see how much health you have and stuff. Right, right, before you couldn't see that. Because they wouldn't want you to learn the... Basic game mechanics. Basic. I look bad at this because I've never played it before. I like that move. That's like... That, that's, oh, yeah. That's like a somewhat in, in, implausible stride there. Yeah. Well, you're clutching on with your claws. You're holding on. You have demon claws. And a demon crest. So, you know, it all works out. I like being able to fly. It's a bit the controlling for it's a bit confusing. I I've never actually played the Game Boy game that this is like a sequel to. Is this a sequel to a Game Boy game? Yeah. Well, oh, oh, there's the, there's the RPG. Yeah, the RPG. It's supposed to be pretty good. At least Nintendo Power told me it was good. So they're 100 truthful. I think I saw somebody get stuck at that point, not realizing you've just walked past that wall. Um. By the way, that guy's gonna post out and hurt you. Oh, it's phase out. I guess. <laughs> this guy is an asshole, and I hate him. Oh, he looks like fun. This thing is, this game is like, it's kind of, it is like Castlevania where you feel slow. Yeah, it's got that sluggish kind of like, like part of the challenge is, oh shit. <laughs> and the game's like designed, about, it looks like he hit a wall, but there was explicitly nothing there. Yeah, well that, that, that that's like, that's like typical gameplay issue there. Yeah, but we just saw that there wasn't a wall there. Potentially hit it, okay. See, look, look, he's doing that thing where he's changing colors. So oh, you know, that's gorgeous, him. I love that. It's so it's so it's so it's so much like better when they when they actually tell you what yeah. they're doing. Oh no, I'm turning into stone again. Everybody must get stone. Kind of annoying for a second. You just be like, here's a pointless thing you have to do for a second. Oh, I'm on fire, baby. I'm alive. I'm alive. Can you hear me, world? Well there you go. Yay! Smash, take that, Smash TV. Okay. Yeah, if you want if you want to get that, you have to sort of cling to that wall and shoot it. This game is very tricky about how you hit things because you can't kneel. <laughs> yeah. It, d it does make really good use of its, um, of its mechanic. Yeah. And those head crabs. Cl cl clearly very head crabbish. Yeah. This game totally ripped off Half-Life. <laughs> Which came out much later. Really, it wasn't that much later. It was like four years or something. Four years is that much later in the, yeah, in, but in the video you, game world. Four, four, if, you, if you think about it, like Final Fantasy XIV came out four years ago. Shush. <laughs> Do I eventually get fish powers? I think so, actually. The ability, the ability to transform myself into a bird, which is a type of fish. You don't know this, but a fish is a kind of bird. Birdfish. Look them up. They're real things. Birdfish. So fish. Blake, I think, has just developed wood salad. <laughs> I doubt this. Oh, I see. They just collapse. And then there's... And then the spikes underneath them. So that's great. So I think sometimes there might be treasures. So I just see, keep but most, doing it. But most of the time, it's just going to be spikes. See, so you do kind of need to cling to that anyway. Yeah. I think if you... Uh, uh, I, that I one think... looks like one I can shoot. Yeah. Nope. This is the guy that I hate. I've ah, watched gosh, your yeah. progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the... The one to put an end to your petty crusade. Crusade. Uh, I didn't mean to have a crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. Oh, you, they made Dave, uh, Daisy out of you? I will be your executioner. If there's a trial, which there currently isn't. So we'll have to schedule a trial for early 2016. 
Aganum, that's right. Aganum, yeah. yeah fine. This is, Aganum, this I is love winged that. Aganum. Winged Aganum. That actually, I think, is exactly the effect. Well, uh, if you think about the technological difference between... I'm pretty sure that, that Capcom was not sharing um, their um, graphical assets with... Um, although it does with look Nintendo. pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> I really wish I could duck. There's so many times here where I'm just like, oh, if I could just duck, I would be fine. Because you can duck in, um, Super Girls and Ghosts. Yeah. Ah. And ducking just feels good. Yeah. I gotta it's say, weird, though, isn't it? Th th this has got a really nice vibe, and it's not nearly as hard as, um... Super Girls and Ghosts? Oh, now you're red with envy. You're a dust, uh... You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. By the way, I'm gonna be throughout this game. By the way, eventually I'm going to be some kind of zero thing, and I'll be your friend. Yeah. You have found, found the, the crest of, of Earth. With, with it, you can morph into G gargoyle. <laughs> Just call him a gargoyle. Well, he's already a gargoyle. The strength to break oh, stone things. I thought he was like a, a oh. demon. No, oh, yeah, this is your new power. Oh yeah, it has like a... Oh, well, wait a minute, I've got the strength to build stone things. I need to go directly back here. And get that health upgrade? Yeah, I forgot. I always forget that. Oh, you gotta, you gotta go right back to the beginning? Yeah. Well, that seems like a long way to go for no reason. I uh, always want to call every game that's with the name Ask you an Axe. Uh, it's um, Axe Razor. Axe Razor, yeah. And because you needed, they, they needed to take a razor and cut out a few of their additional unnecessary acts. By the way, there was a boss fight there. We're skipping that. <laughs> can, you, can you fly in this form? No, you can't. Okay, so you might want to actually be Fireball, man. Ah, eh, you can do this, I think. This guy's got a superior jump. Oops. Oops. Sounds like a bat masturbating. Masturbating? Masturbating? <laughs> well, well, Robin. It looks like... <laughs> it's time for it us looks to... like you're finally going to earn your keep around it's, here. It's time to masturbate. No 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 Basically, Dick has always bent penis as long as guys named Dick have been huge penises. Yeah. It's because those... There's not, there's Dick Tracy, that's right, means drawing dicks. Yeah, tracing dicks. It's like that artist who made, um... Hmm, I'm going to make a sketching of this penis. Uh, yes, there's the head, there's the shaft, and there, now he's wearing a yellow overcoat. He's now my new character. <laughs> That's the secret thing, is that he's actually just a penis, but he can put clothes over top of him. And give him a jawline. I'm sorry. So I don't know if we we really got played enough gameplay here to uh, give this game a fair shot. We just got into the Final Fantasy VI Mode 7 sequence. But you know what? This is what I've got to go with. So we're going to go with our, our best gut and our best arguments. I'm going to see what I can do to defend this game. I really liked it. We're yeah. going to see what the judges think when we go to the judgment. <laughs> the verdict. Okay. All right. All right. Whoa. That was uh, that ah, that really hurt my hand. That yeah, no. very small gesture I just did. <laughs> it's because he's very weak and has poor bones, That's like a bird. Cool. Um, we're here <laughs> with Top Damage Wizard. Um, uh, thanks a lot for coming out, Top Damage. And uh, you, you, you've got a real wizard <laughs> appearance. <laughs> we're gonna try and provide our best possible arguments. And at the end of it, you determine uh, who wins and who dies. Just remember, nobody likes him. No, literally nobody. No, I, I like how you never defend yourself. <laughs> like I always attack you. You never defend yourself. Well, I, if I had something to defend, I would. All right, so here we go with um, uh, Super Ghosts and Ghosts versus Demon Crest. Cool. So Super Ghosts and Ghosts is a classic for the Super Nintendo. It was one of the first games for the system and really helped define the graphical like, not limitations, but the prowess that the game could do. The layering effects are really cool. The way they make the audio sort of sink in and layers with each other Definitely is amazing it's for the technology they average. had at the time. No. Uh, the game is, like, so atmospheric because of it. It has that real Capcom, Castlevania kind of feel where there's, like, zombies coming out of everywhere and everything is scaled. You're scaled constantly because it's very hard. That's something we can't avoid. The game is nearly impossible, but that's also part of the charm. It has a lot of replayability because of it. Uh, the music's amazing. The game, despite its difficulty, isn't really unfair, except the stupid red demon things that that game is all about. <laughs> and the weapons you get are all really cool, and the magic system's neat, and it's kind of cool getting hit, and you almost flies off, and you're running around in your underwear. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. cool. So it's cool! But wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Demon's Crest. <sighs> Demon's Crest, in my mind, is a real unappreciated gem. Everyone knows the Ghouls and Ghosts game, mostly from the original Nintendo and Arcade version, which I actually like better. They're both good. 
Um, but but Demon's Crest has this huge open world with these RPG like mechanics. It's also got that sort of Mega Man sort of thing where you're collecting power ups and you're changing as you go through the game. Um, we didn't spend enough time to get into it, and that's the great thing about this game is that there's a lot of meat in Demon's Crest. Uh, and both physical meat in terms of monsters, but also there's a lot of meat in terms of the gameplay, and it's really something that hasn't been explored enough. Um, I also love that you play like a villain from another game. Like he's not a villain really in this game, but it's a nice twist to say that you play the bad guy for once. Um, I love that it just starts off with a boss fight, it's got amazing graphics, great sound, just like the other one, but it's a little bit less known, and it's also got a great character with some amazing plot and huge open world gameplay. It's wonderful. Alright, so those are our two arguments. Um, those are the best we could come up with, so now it's up to you to determine which one of us is the victor. So here, here's the thing. Um... As much as I want to, Ghouls and Ghosts is a great game, and it's a wonderful update of a classic game, a classic game that'll make you break your system, break your controllers, it'll break up a happy home. Uh, thing is, you didn't sell it enough to me of why we just rehash an old thing, because this was a, this is kind of like Capcom's thing now of they just rehash old things like like the new DuckTales game and, and whatnot. So then, this was the beginning of the end I saw for Capcom of rehashing old things. Demon's Crest, while it might not be as polished, you really sold it to me as they took a, didn't just put a new coat of paint on something, they tore down the game, they took what made it work and they built a whole new system and whole new empire that they never capitalized on. So I'm gonna have to give it to Demon's Crest. Oh, yes! God. Yes! This is the happiest day of my life. And that includes the time that my first son was born. And a second son. And when my second son was born. That one doesn't count though, because he's a second son. The second son you don't care about that much. And you know what? Demon's Crest has been a second son for too long. It's time for that second son to shine. So thanks a lot. Uh, uh, you've really made my day because now I have a slight chance of not being killed <laughs> by an evil space robot. That was great. I finally won, so I think you're my favorite judge of all time. Uh, <laughs> and uh, check out the top damage wizard over here. He's got a great, great page, got great gameplay stuff, and we'll catch you later. Thanks a lot. Okay, <laughs> I'm hitting the stop recording button. Uh, uh, what? Is, um, no, I am not okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> you are not ready for that. Word. Hey everybody, <laughs> I have another episode of Game Drone. So, uh, did we get the right verdict? Were there any arguments you think we missed? Are there any games that you would like to see whipped apart? Submit it to us, and we'll submit it to the Master Drive, and it may or may not listen. Yeah, as so you can send us stuff through via Twitter, Facebook, in the uh, comments in the section comments below. below. Uh, we're on Reddit, we're on whatever, throw a rock through our window. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, because apparently if you say that, people will do it. Apparently. Also, if you want to be a celebrity judge, contact us through any of those various reasons, and we might listen. That's not the correct wording, but see you next time on Game Drone. You're not a